Hey Nintendo, nice to see you in another thing. Oh boy, this is another game where it doesn't make much sense. First of all, that does not sound that good. It sounds super compressed. But yeah, it's one of those games where the fact that there isn't a bar in the middle is gonna be bloody um, awful. But can't really do much about that, can I? Yes, I can, probably, but there's probably some setting. Then again, OBS probably doesn't like it. I'm curious. Yeah, but... I don't know, it's fine. I hope. So welcome everyone, obviously, to the Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. Now, I have some unfinished business with this game. As you can see, I... Actually... Yeah, I know. For whatever reason, this guy has not... Com I've not completed the game. I've beaten this game before, a long time ago, and I don't know who Brady is. Oh, I know who Brady is, never mind. Anyways. No, why would it start with A? Oh, God. So this... I wheeled in the right... Yep. So, oddly enough, this game has the honor of being the game I've lost the most. Like, I've lost this game, I had to buy three different cards of this game. Our story begins... Not long ago. Oh. So, if you haven't played Wind Waker or seen it, there was a young girl, a savvy to the seas and head of a band of pirates. Um, if you haven't seen it, then obviously leave now. Her name was Tetra. She was pretty, brash, and brave. Tetra and her handsome pirates set out to explore the vast and unfamiliar seas. One day on a stop in an island, yeah, that's not really happened, Tetra met a young boy dressed in green. No, she didn't. He was dressed in blue and in invisible clothing, actually. After a series of strange events, the two began traveling together. You mean a giant bird rock thing taking her away? This is a spoiler part. They found old ruins and Lionville Tetra. At once, she transformed into a beautiful princess. Her lineage traced back to an ancient ruined kingdom. She was Princess Zelda of the Kingdom of Hyrule. Again. Dwarf. Just then, a huge ominous king appeared. Um. He carried Princess Zelda away. Sort of, I think. The evil king sought the sacred power passed down to Hyrulean princesses. He schemed to take the power and use it himself. The boy chased after him, determined to save the princess. I remember, I need to actually sit way back when I'm playing DS games. That's sort of what happened. The boy crossed seas and climbed mountains. The journey was perilous. He slayed evil monsters and used their power to become a true hero. After long and hard adventuring, he defeated the evil king. And beautiful Princess Zelda was rescued at last. I hope it sounds better than usual. I mean, Metroid Prime 2 has already happened. Not Metroid Prime 2. I wish. Later, the two set out with a brave pirate crew in search of new lands. Yes, they set sail together. I guess my little boat sank. A happy pirate ending. Yes. It turns out it was Nico who was voicing that. So what do you think of my amazing paper cutouts? Did you guess that Tetra was really Princess Zelda? Yes, I played the game. Hey, Link, are you sleeping, Swabby? So I played this years, like, 
five years before um, I ever played um, Wind Waker. Link. Link. Etc. Thing etc. Yep, etc. Stop messing around down there. You're both supposed to be on lookout. Huh. So much in here you are. I believe you saved me from the evil king. Princess Zelda, we're nearly at the spot in the sea. I told you not to call me Zelda. Tetra worked just fine before, you know. But enough about that. So this is where the ghost ship is set to appear? Stay on lookout for a creepy looking ship. Are you sure this is a good idea? What about all those ships that have gone missing? I say the ghost ship is behind all of it. That's right, Nico. Every ship disappears. It's all because of that scary ghost ship. Go ghosts Hey, Tetra. They say these seas are protected, yeah? Something about a spirit called the Ocean King? When a spirit like that protect the ships? So it really is an evil ghost ship. Don't be ridiculous. There's no such thing as a ghost ship. Uh, there is, though. It's literally in the great sea that you were in. I bet it's just some pirates up to no good. I'll expose them as a bunch of frauds. Remind them that there are rules to being pirates. That there really is an Ocean King anyway. That's King of Red Lines. Uh, uh oh. That was a Retherson. Hey, look! The air feels chilly. Eerie, even. I say we take a detour around this creepy place. Quit being so scared. We're here to see the world, not take detours. Ship ahoy! Tetra, I can see a ship. Yeah, a ship up ahead. Oh, well. That's not a ghost ship? I don't know what that is. <laughs> it's a ship of dreams and happiness. See? They can see the joy in your future. Um. Oh my god, that's a huge ship. How much bigger it is than... Actually, what is Tetra's ship's name? I I it's a ghost ship! He's what is really our curse! And you call yourself a pirate, it's just a ship. It does look like it could be the ghost ship. Wait, how is it stopped near us? There might even be a load of treasure on board. That's it, I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. Well then. Alfonso just disappeared there for a second. Come on, Link. You can do it. Oh, come on, Link. You've held on to work harder things than that. It'll be the second time this guy's drowned. So, by the way, this is the same exact Link as Wind Waker. Hi, Tetra. Link. Save me. Link. Well, save me, Link. Hmm? Navi? Well, we're not in your game yet. Not for another ten episodes. Or something like that. I know, and that's even if I get to it. Oh, phew, you're awake! You were moving, so I thought you were done for. But it looks like you're going to be okay. I'm Sheila, you see, I'm a safari. I was up floating around and found you here. What happened? Huh? What? It's a goat ship? Your friend was taken away by a ghost ship? So you're falling after her. 
You got separated from your own ship, huh? Is that the ghost ship people have been talking about? They say that those it takes are never seen again. You know more about the ghost ship? Grandpa will know all about it. I lost my memory a long time ago. When I woke up on this beach, Grandpa rescued me. He's very sweet, so you've got nothing to worry about. House is up there off the beach. Come on. It's sort of hard to both make sure that I'm speaking into the mic and also staring down. Oh, can you walk? That's the direction you want to move with your stylus. Oh, fourth world doesn't exist. So I hope you enjoy that top thing. Oh my goodness, it's been so long. Like, literally, I have not played this game in over, like, five years. At least. Hmm. I guess. Well, actually, you can click on the bottom screen. You can't click on the top screen. Hmm. I'm just gonna leave that up there. Okay. Holy shit! This is one strong ass link. Okay. And a rupee. Who <laughs> needs barrels, anyways? No, not that way, Link. Let's talk to my grandpa first. Sure, I guess. No. Ah, oh, hello, traveler. So your name is Link? I am Oceus and I live on this island. Zia told me about all about what happened to you. I was there your friend was taken by the ghost ship. I understand that you want to find the ghost ship, but you must not... Wait, what? But Grandpa, what are you saying? Link's friend was carried away. Pure evil fills the sails of the ghost ship. It roams the seas in search of victims to capture. And no one has ever escaped from it. It's best if you stay far away from that ghost ship. No, to seek out that ship is to seek out your doom. That's why we have to do something, Grandpa. Oh, mercy. Oh, mercy. I don't know. Hmm. You're not gonna give up, are you? Yes, I am apparently giving up, young people. There is a port to the east of here. You can see it on the map. A sailor by the name of Limebeck should be there. He'll be willing to tell you more about the ghost ship. Look at your map, the harbor is here. You mean that guy who came to visit Grandpa? Yes, about the ghost ship, I remember him. I'll go with Link and show him who he is. It's okay, right, Grandpa? Yes, I don't see why you can't go along. I'm sure you can help Link. Thank you, Grandpa. Let's go, Link. I don't know. I always liked Celia. At least I don't remember harboring anything against her. She's always been an antsy, that one. Now, Link. Hey, there have been many monster sightings. I gave in to you and told you about Linebeck, but you be careful out there. Um, can we get a sword? Maybe Celia's the reason why I never... Because I never... I was never bothered by an anti. Oh. What's that rumbling? Another earthquake? So many quakes lately. So many monsters. Bad signs for sure, and I bet there are even worse things to come. To the board. Oh. Hello. Oh. oh, heavens. That quake just broke the bridge again. How many quakes lately? That bridge breaks every time there's a big one. There's a second way to go to town, fortunately. Fortunately, it leads to a frightening cave full of monsters. What to do? Well, wait for the bridge to be fixed, of course. Yeah, uh, well, I can't wait for that, so... What's in here? Oh, that cave music. Can't be used this cave as a storehouse. Keep your hands off my things. Please ask for a socius. Okay, fine. 
I mean, I didn't mean to. Well, I didn't do anything, I guess, but... Yo, there's been an issue. So that earthquake broke the bridge, did it? Ah, unfortunate. There's another way to port, but it's far too dangerous. No, wait for someone to reveal the bridge, that's the only safe course. You do realize I have killed many thi This link has done things you can't even imagine. Don't even think about braving the path to the north. Hmm. I'm thinking about it. And I think this game's not gonna progress if I just sit here, so... What? Danger, monsters ahead. Oh, your friend Tanner trapping me. Yep, that's how it's done. Just tap on people to tap with them. Hey, I just had a bad bit of luck with my garden here. That quake just heaved a bunch of rocks into the middle of my patch. Would you mind moving them? Simply tap on a rock to pick it up. And tap where you want to throw it. Yes, I know. Don't hit the cuckoo. And don't grab the cuckoo either. Thanks, Zablani. You really helped me out there. Oh, much better. You're something for your trouble. Please, I insist. Thanks. Oh, well, green rupee. It's worth one rupee. What with a dirty look? Think I'm a cheapskate? Fine, then here's a hot tip. Hey, map, there's a tree on that spot. Go bash it real hard. Hey, mend. Right down. Okay. Mark it down on your map before you forget it. Just scribble on your map, tap minion, and tap map. Can I steal from him? No. I've heard that the ghost ship is a prowl against Seelmore Islanders. So very dangerous. Oh, choo choos. Monsters! Look out, Link! It's way too near, so you need something to defend yourself with. You have to go back. What the hell is this thing? Um. Okay, you weren't kidding. Either you have a long recharge on your roll, or... Um, there's another problem. Try the path to the north, did you? See, don't pretend you forgot I told you never to go that way. Seen so many quakes rattle island lately, Link. And monsters have been seen closer and closer to town. Be cautious, young ones. The cave up north leads to the port. It's true. That path will be crawling with monsters. Do not even think of it. I'm sure someone will get around to repairing that bridge. Dude, we have to do it now or else she's going to die. I guarantee it. Well, Grammar wants us to stay out of trouble, but we need to find your friend. Only well, you found a sword. Then you could show those monsters. Oh, look. Will you let me interact with this now? I think I remember Grandpa storing a sword back there. Let me get the sword open. He cracks open the door by writing a number on that sign. He says it's the number of palm trees on the beach. Sneaky. Oh dear me, I just realized I've never played this game without having the guide next thing. Because this is one of the games I do actually own the guide for. So? Um, hmm. One. Two. Three, four, five, six. Is it nine? Seven? No. Looks going to be seven. Do you... Oh. Huh. Can't roll that many times. I'll roll like three, apparently. Hey, Carrie. Yeah, I know. Hands on my stuff, please, Esther's. Okay, that worked. Using the sword, basics number one. Use the, I like how Celia just flew away. This is how to swing your sword. Tapping and drawing lines um, quickly is the key to deft swordplay. Oh, it's just a sword. It looks exactly like the sword from the Wind Waker. Tap an enemy or slide the size on the touchscreen. You found a sword! Oh, we shouldn't tell Grandpa we're taking it. He'd worry himself sick. For us, though, now we can defend ourselves from those monsters. Yep. Stab. Sash. 
Spin attack. Hmm. Oh, I would have thought that a spin attack was enough. Oh, uh, I think we've been caught. You two are proving to be quite a handful. Isn't that my sword? What are you planning on doing with that? Grandpa, I'm sorry, but we just had to. You can't abandon his kidnapped friend. We can't wait for the bridge. Yes, I understand, but I can't just let you go. Without showing you how to handle that sword. I'll teach you how to handle it. Meet me at my house, Link. As you've already proved more than capable, Cecilia, that you can actually handle that sword. Link. So you have a sword. And then know that even the best of swords can be bad. If I mishandled, that is. So I must teach you the basics of swordplay. Let's begin with the targeted attack. I'm gonna bring out some targets for sword practice, far safer than real foes. Just tap a target to lock on to... Oh, lock on and close in for the attack. Try it now. I'm gonna keep at it. Excellent, the target attack is the most basic of attacks. Use it well. For the side slash. Find it hard to lock onto enemies, use a side slash instead. Just sketch a line that divides you and your target to slash at it. When it requires a little practice, simply sketch a slash. Yeah, that's it. And to keep slashing, just slash repeatedly. Sketch repeatedly, I guess. Look, like you fully understand the side slash. Also use it to slash several things at once. Remember it well. Finally, we have the spin attack. Add the size of the circle around yourself to the spin attack. Just draw big circles to unleash a spin attack. So, Barry, I can teach you nothing more. I must swim on your own as you venture out among the monsters. If you do have any problems, return here and speak with me. Danke. What are you? I mean, I know what you are. You're gossip stones. Boing! When you do a somersault, scribble tiny circles at the very edge of your screen. Run onto the big tree there and see what shakes loose. Too much hour and you'll get dizzy. Oh, red rupee. Thank you. It's gonna take a while to get used to the controls again. And no heart left behind, I guess. And passage, but it's gonna be it. I'm gonna actually, cause yeah, the sword's up there. Speak to me. Oh, you just that was just a sword, I guess. But anyways, alas, that is it for this episode and discussion. So, if you enjoy this video, you know what to do. Oh, and in case you're curious, no, you can't control this any other way. You have to use the styles. Which I mean, I had never bothered me because again, uh, one of the things I grew up with and never could beat. Until very long after. Anyways, enjoy this video. You know what to do. See ya.